All this week, we're profiling the Wounded Warrior Amputee Softball Team. They're a group of war vets who've lost limbs in Iraq and Afghanistan. And now, thanks to prosthetics and their amazing can-do attitude, they're playing softball competitively. Today, we hear from the players themselves about how they ended up on a field of dreams. There you go, Saul! There you go, Josh! In 2009, while serving in Afghanistan, uh, my vehicle rolled over in an IED and I lost both of my legs below the knee as a result of that. We rolled over a pressure plate IED and all that is, is there's some, you roll over it, you, you set off a, a trigger mechanism, and then it goes off. And uh, the bomb was just big enough to punch through the hull where I was sitting. And it took both my legs traumatically at the spot. It was October 16th, 2006. I was in uh, the Alambar province of Iraq doing a night patrol, sweeping the roads for IEDs and uh, found one the hard way. Drove the Humvee right over top of it, blew up, took all my muscle and nerves out of my forearm. And then a year and a half later, I made the decision to have my hand amputated because it didn't work anymore. It was uh, February 5th, 2005, just on a mobile patrol in Iraq, in Ramadi, Iraq and uh, an improvised explosive device was uh, set off underneath my Humvee as a drive and <laughs> resulted in amputation of my left leg. Uh, broken wrist, broken elbow, broken fingers, broken elbow. Uh, they had to go in here and uh, my eyelid was completely gone. They had to reconstruct my eyelid. Uh, so, and then bad hearing damage and my head got rocked, so they call it a traumatic brain injury that I got. I copy. There should be elements in there uh, wanting to uh, ambush you. Be aware. March 22nd, 2003, we uh, had been doing a lot of operations, taking out bases and stuff like that, and uh, farmhouse didn't get searched about 150 yards out in the distance off from one of their bases. Incoming! We got ambushed and the vehicle I was in got hit with five RPGs, rocket propelled grenades. It's like I blinked my eyes and the whole world had changed. I pulled the driver out, got him out of there, shot two bad guys coming down the road, went back in the vehicle and got master guns out because he was very close to the blast also. He, he wasn't in good shape. There the whole time they were trying to grab me. So it was at that point I realized that although I wasn't hurting real bad, something uh, more serious was going on. They set us down and they said, grab him. And him happened to be me and they drug me in there and they're like, son, we gotta cut your leg off. We gotta stop this bleeding. They said all my ankle bones were shattered and most of them were missing. And whatever hit my left leg, hit my right leg also, broke my right leg and uh, I have a huge skin graft that's about a foot long, about four inches wide on my right calf where an M16 had uh, melted all the skin off my leg. So they took a piece of skin from here, put it down there, and then they cut me from like down here to down here to bleed off the pressure from that fracture. Because this fracture, it just broke apart this way. It didn't break through the skin. And uh, they were afraid I was going to lose this leg also. And I mean, I shrunk two inches from, uh, from the height I was before I got hurt to the height I am now. I was 6'1", now I'm 5'11". Oh. Always been very athletic, always loved playing sports. Any sport it is, whether it's tennis, golf, badminton, air hockey, soccer, I don't give a I'm going to be better than you at it or try to be better than you at it, and I'll, be, I'll play it competitively in a heartbeat. I played ball in high school. Uh, I was uh, a converted shortstop, went into the outfield. Uh, my buddy uh, was in center field, I was in left field, and there wasn't really many balls that would, would hit the ground. And did a little uh, beer leagues uh, for softball, slow pitch softball. So I did have some experience before I came here. And uh, this is, but this is the best team I've ever been on him for slow pitch wise. Warriors on three. One, two, three. Warriors! Okay, yeah. here's, the, here's the body order. We were kind of a ragtag bunch and we weren't that good in the beginning. And the, uh, we've had a lot of practice and got to know each other's strengths and weaknesses so we can uh, help each other out with that. So we've got, a, 
we've progressed quite a bit in a year. I actually credit to being in the right place at the right time. I'm not the most lucky guy out there, but uh, I actually was working out at the MATC, the Military Advanced Training Center at Walter Reed, and the right guy happened to walk by. It wasn't David Van Sleet, the coach or founder. It was uh, one of his, his good friends, and he saw me doing agility drills, and he saw that I could move fairly well, and he asked me if I played softball, and I was waiting for an opportunity like that. As soon as softball came out of his mouth, I was like, yes, sign me up. This, it means everything to me because uh, I've been retired for a few years and I have nothing to spur me on, you know, to keep me going. So this now is something I look forward to. Got back in shape. I go to the batting cages. Before this, I really didn't have any reason to, you know, look forward to the next day, you know. I saw this team and was inspired and went from, you know, no reason to live to, now looking forward to every day. These guys, watching what they do out here and that they didn't quit, uh, you shouldn't quit. And I didn't quit and, you know, life still goes on. So don't give up. It's a blessing. I mean, it, it's truly a blessing. I mean, never thought I'd play ball or do anything like this again and get to share it with service members. Can't get any better.